Hey guys, Dan here, and welcome back to Pokemon Brick Bronze in Roblox. I'm excited. Are you excited? Good. Let's do this. Press start. So let's begin with what happened last time. So first off, we gained our very first gym badge, which was awesome. And to be honest, I know it's cocky, but... It was fairly easy. <laughs> but we also got some brand new Pokemon, including a shiny Eevee, which if you play this game, you can get for free in that house. You can check out from the previous episode. And we got a shiny Beedrill as well, which is absolutely insane. It is level 30, so it's pretty overpowered. So I'm probably not going to use it for now just to keep everything as fair as possible. Okay, I did not realize that you were going to be here. Actually... I'm going to teach this guy a lesson by using my brand new shiny Beedrill. What's he going to send in? He's going to send in a Dunsparce. That is an amazing Pokemon. And there's our shiny Eevee. Look at those sparkles. Oh, man. Right. Let's go into Pokemon. Let's go into Beedrill because we traded with a mysterious man last time. If you're watching, thank you so much for trading your two shiny Pokemon for my one really terrible. I think I sent you Barry, maybe? Barry version 2? Oh, no, wait. Barry version 2 is here. I don't know who I sent, but I got a shiny Beedrill and a shiny Ampharos in return, which is crazy. So let's have a look and see what this shiny Beedrill looks like. Oh, dude, that looks cool. Look at its blue wings. That is awesome. We're going to use Twin Needle and take this sucker out. Get out of here, Dunsparce. Oh, jeez. Straight down in a critical hit as well. Very nice shiny Beedrill. But just to keep this series fair, I am going to store him back inside my PC when I get there. And then I guess we've got to make our way towards getting our second gym badge, which I am definitely excited about. I think I need to switch to shorts. Um, yeah. Sure. <laughs> so there are actually a few trainers that we skipped here. And I kind of want to see what other Pokemon are around. So let's see what else is around here. I need to buy some Pokeballs. Oh, a Pachirisu. That's actually a very cool Pokemon indeed. But I don't think it evolves. I'm pretty sure it does not evolve. So I am going to... I'm going to fight it, but I'm not going to fight it with my Eevee because it's not powerful enough. Let's go into our big boy, Quillava, because he did some major work in the previous episode to take down that crazy first gym. And I think it was electric type. And I think he might have taken down a Pachirisu as well. So let's get this guy out of here and harvest some experience. There we go. Get out of here, Pachirisu. 162 experience. Okay. That wasn't too great, but our Eevee grew to level 8. How did it grow that high? Is it because of the Dunsparce? I didn't realize it was that high of a level. Look, I thought it was only level 5. <laughs> okay, so we didn't really explore this city very much. We went down here, which was a bad idea. Um, you know what? Let's go to the Pokemon Center first and buy some new items because we need Pokeballs, maybe some potions and stuff too, and we need to heal our Pokemon just because that's good Pokemon trainer practice. There we go. Pokeball all healed and ready to go. Thank you very much. Nurse Joy, if that is your real name. Now, I'm going to quickly go over to the PC before I go to the shop because I do want to put away my shiny Beedrill. Oh, yeah, he gave me a Togepi as well. Let's see what level this is. It's level 14. So that's actually pretty good. So should I put this in my party? It does evolve into Togetic and then Togetic evolves into Togekiss, but you do need a shiny stone to do that. So for now, I think I'm going to move Togepi into the party and I'm also going to put in... We do have a Nidoran. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put in the Nidoran for now. And also what's cool, we can nickname our Pokemon, which is awesome. So... I need a nickname for this Eevee. I'm going to call him... Oh, wait. Is it a him or a her? It's a him. Good, because I have the perfect name. It's... It's... Elvis. Definitely. Hello, Elvis. How are you doing? That's so cool. You can just nickname your Pokemon however you like. Now, we need to choose one for Quilava as well, who is also a male. Now, I'm going to do a rule where you have to use the first letter of the Pokemon's name in the nickname. So, I'm going to call him... I'm going to call him Quits. I mean, why not? That's a pretty posh name, but I like it. Okay, Squirtle, the male Squirtle. We're going to call you Steve. Of course we are. And then we've got, I think we've nicknamed this one. This is, um, yeah, of course. It's Barry version 2. Why didn't, why didn't I know that? Nidoran female. We are going to call you Nelly. I mean, why not? And Togepi, I'm guessing you're a female. No, you're a male. We're going to call you 
Tim. Just simply Tim. Actually, let's call you Timmy, because that's a little bit cuter. Okay, that's our party for now. Let's get out of here. And we need to talk to this guy to buy some stuff, and then I guess we should get going on the story. So we have 3,816 in our bank, which is actually really, really strong. But first off, I want to check how many Pokeballs I already have. We have three. Okay, that's awful. Let's buy seven to make it up to ten, because they are quite expensive. Oh, we could have bought a great ball. Oh, I don't know if I should have done that or not. You know what? Let's splash out and let's buy two great balls. They're 1,200 pounds for two. That is insane. So two great balls, and I don't think we need anything else right now. Let's continue our journey. Now, I'm not actually sure where I go from here, but you know what? Let's just explore a little bit. What's cool about this game is that you can actually go in every single house and talk to everyone. Whoa! I want that sword. <laughs> That's awesome. It looks like a, a hone edge, if you know that Pokemon. Things are not always what they seem. Uh, okay, that's pretty deep. Not gonna lie. Nice kitchen you've got here, buddy. I'm just gonna climb your shelves. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, man, you can see the other house over there. That's kind of cool. Oh, my goodness, look at this guy. He's got a trophy. He's got a ghastly picture, and he's looking like a magician right now. Art is my passion. I travel the world looking for new ways to express what's on my mind. My home is a reflection of my personality. It, lo it looks pretty cool to me, Buster. I'm not going to lie. Now, this is the house where we got the shiny Eevee from. So if you play this game, then come to this house right here on the left-hand side of this generator and bag yourself a shiny Eevee. Right. Let's carry on. And I don't know who this guy is. Is this a player or is it an NPC? Right. Root 4. It looks like it's caved in, actually. Hello? How are you? Oh, the life of a lumberjack. Hacking away at trees for days with your trusty axe. Pokemon can also cut down the smaller trees if you teach them the move cut. You'll need the badge from Sylvan City Gym in order to use cut outside of battle. But here's the HM so you can teach it to your Pokemon. Obtain cut! Yes. Okay, so we need to teach this to one of our Pokemon, and I have the perfect Pokemon for it. And the main reason why we have Barry version 2 on our team is so we can teach him HM. So Barry, learn Cut, please. Teach Cut to Barry V2? Of course I will. Oh, he just learned it straight away. He didn't have a care in the world. Right, let's try this, shall we? This tree looks like it can be cut down. Would you like Barry version 2 to use Cut? There we go. Take that tree down, Barry. Barry? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, Barry, you failed. But he did it. He pulled through. Right. Let's see what Pokemon are here. We found ourselves a Shinx, which is a level 7. Now, I think we might be able to take this guy down. I'm going to try it. Hopefully, he doesn't have the static ability. Whoa, Elvis. Elvis, you, you took down half his health with one tackle. That's insane. He's a level 7 or she's a level 7. Okay, Elvis. Elvis is really powerful. It's the shine. The shine makes him even more powerful. That was amazing. What's our next Pokemon going to be? A Mareep. Okay, these Pokemon suck just a little bit. I kind of want to redeem myself and get a Pikachu. I'm going to run from this one because I know that Mareep has static, which means if you make physical contact with a Pokemon, they can get paralyzed. And from last episode, we know how annoying that was. So let's see if we can move on to another city, shall we? Let's go through here and see what's going on. That's a massive TV. Can you imagine playing Minecraft or Roblox on that thing? That's crazy. The Savannah or Route 5 is just ahead. Okay, that sounds pretty cool to me. Let's go to the Savannah. Oh, here we go. Is the Savannah here? Yes, it is. Oh, man, this looks cool. Hey, wait up. Oh, no, is this going to be my rival? I Wait a second. Um, Who, who are you? <laughs> I thought it was going to be my rival. I was so confused for a second. I was like... Why have you changed clothes? But don't worry, it's someone else. Yes, I love running. Me too. I just ran for... Whoa, that, that's a long time. I actually have an extra pair of running shoes. Here, I want you to have them. Obtained running shoes. Thanks, buddy. That's amazing. He's gone. He's gone. What? What just happened? Um. Um. Wait a second. Uh. <laughs> what? What has happened to that guy? Okay, so we can run now, which is perfect. We run a little bit strangely, but we, we, it doesn't matter. I still can't believe that guy. He tripped and got, like, trapped in a trap and died. Okay, this game is dark. Very dark. You know what? Let's go and catch some Pokemon and take on some trainers. I want to see what's in the Savannah in here. Oh, a Blitzel. That's actually pretty nice. That evolves into Zeb Striker. 
We don't have a lightning type Pokemon yet, but I kind of want to save that slot for a Pikachu. But you know what? Let's do a little bit of searching around here and see what Pokemon we can get. Oh my goodness. Elvis, you're so strong. Taking him down. Are you going to go up to level 9? Oh, yes, you are. Nice. I keep thinking 60-ish experience is terrible, but it's not. It's actually pretty good. Right. Should we uh, replace a move with baby doll eyes? That's a pretty terrible move, but we've got terrible uh, moves to take them out. Always goes first, lowers the target's attack. That's actually pretty good. Let's go for overwriting growl because it's a lot better. It's a priority move, which is awesome. Right, let's rustle around in the grass and see what else they've got. A Litleo. Okay, that's pretty cool. That evolves into Pyro, which is a very cool Pokemon indeed. And this is a level 10. Your team is too nervous to eat berries. I think that's fine. Okay, right. Let's, um, let's tackle it. And I'm going to try and capture this because I think this could be cool. Oh, my goodness. Litleo is quite powerful. Okay, we should need, I think, two more tackles to try and take this guy down. He is faster than me. Whoa. Okay. Okay, that was a little bit too aggressive for my liking. Let's try ourselves a Pokeball real quick. I don't know if this is going to work, but if it doesn't, Elvis is probably going to die. And I don't want that. Please, Elvis. Capture him. Capture him. Capture him. Yes! Oh, man, that's lucky. I didn't think that was going to work. Yes! And now he's going to go straight into our PC. And we need to nickname him. He is going to be... Let's be let's be um real, real traditional and call him Leo. There we go. Get out of here, Leo. So we'll collect him later on, I think. But I kind of want to save a space in my party for a lightning type. Right, I need to switch around because Elvis is going to die. Right, I'm going to battle these trainers. Let's battle this guy right here with the amazing beard and hat and backpack. Let's do this. The Pokemon here are so diverse. Let me show you. Okay, let me see what you got, buddy. Hiker Stan would like to battle and he's got himself a, a, a pat rat. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to have a little bit better. Not going to lie. So let's switch out and let's give Steve some battle time. It looks like these guys are getting a little bit more powerful, which is a little bit worrying, but not too bad. But um, let's see if Steve can take this guy out. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. You can do it. He's using Bide. Knock him out or he's going to knock you out. That would have been crazy. Right, let's see what other Pokemon you've caught, Buster. Good going, Steve. Level 13. He wants to learn Bubble as well. Yes, of course we'll teach him that. Power 40, accuracy 100, PP 30. So it's exactly the same as Water Gun, just with more PP. So... I think I'm going to just overwrite Water Gun. Let's do that. Okay, he's coming in with a Litleo. So I'm going to switch out into Steve the Squirtle. And hopefully you'll survive this with ease. And we are going to bubble him to the ground because he is a fire type. So let's see. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, you flinched. Steve, come on. You're going to die. You're going to leave me out here without a water type. No, Steve. Steve, why? Okay, we're gonna send out... You know what? Let's give Timmy a little bit of a test run here. I don't know what attacks Timmy has, actually. Yawn, Metronome, Charm, or Sweet Kiss. Okay, the only one that does damage is Metronome. And for those of you that don't play Pokemon that often, Metronome picks one random attack from the whole entire pool of Pokemon moves. Let's try this. Go, Timmy, go. What's he gonna use? Is he gonna use Hyper Beam? That'd be awesome. Come on. Timmy, use Metronome. Waggling a finger, let it use shockwave. <laughs> oh, Timmy, you are hilarious. Right, use it again. Here he goes. What's he going to use? Swift. Okay, that's a pretty decent attack. It looks like Timmy's attack stat isn't that great, but let's keep trying it just because it's a hilarious move. Oh, you flinched, Timmy. Why? No. No, guys, it's frozen. No, I'm just going to, I'm going to have to replay this all again. I didn't save. Oh, why? Why? Okay, we're back. A Litleo is back, but this isn't the Litleo that we caught before. Unfortunately, I couldn't find one. <laughs> I couldn't find one to recatch a Leo. But don't worry, Steve, the Squirtle is back for a vengeance. He's only got Water Gun, so he should learn it after this if he survives. Oh, jeez, that headbutt attack is so good. Oh, wait, he's using the Swordsbuck coffee. This is perfect. Right, Water Gun. Get this guy out of here. He's now faster than the Litleo. This is perfect. Don't make me flinch again. Actually, I don't think he can because he's the one going second now. Yes, Steve. Take him out. Take him out. No, you didn't take him out. Oh, jeez. Okay, this should be fine because it's not very effective. And then Steve should finish him off with a big old tackle. Go on, tackle him. Tackle him. Headbutt him. There we go. Yes, now Steve should go up to level 13 and learn bubble again. <laughs> 
<laughs> because he forgot it from before. And there we go. A bubble has been learned. Good job, Steve. You revenged yourself. Okay, now we definitely need to save. <laughs> okay, there's quite a few trainers up here. This kind of looks like... This looks like the rock from the Lion King. Are we going to do the... I have got a squirtle hanging here. No? Okay, fine. Hi, do you fight fair? I want to find out. Well, I tried to. Um, I mean, if I beat you, though, don't accuse me of cheating, please. Okay, he's got himself a Nidoran male. Now, can my EV take down this? Can Elvis do it? I don't think so. This is These are some powerful Pokemon. Jeez, right, I'm going to switch into Quince real quick. No Timmy Metronome magic today because Timmy's attack isn't too great. It's not too great at all. Let's see if um, Quince the Quilava can take this guy down. Ember! That's pretty powerful, not gonna lie. Oh, look at that! A critical hit. Nice. Takes out the Nidoran male. Uh, is that gonna be the only Pokemon? It is! Did I, I, told, I knew he was gonna do that. Gonna accuse me of cheating, you little punk. How could I trust you? Just take my word for it, please, or watch my video. Okay, it looks like they might be able to use Rock Smash through there, but obviously we don't have that yet. So we are going to take you down this time on our way to what I'm guessing is the next city. So, um, which Pokemon have you got? She has a Litleo. Okay, perfect. Steve will be in his element. It's a level 14, though. These are getting more powerful and more powerful the further we get down this road. I'm getting a little bit worried that we're not even that good. Um, oh, geez. The problem is Steve isn't that great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire off a sand attack real quick. Because Steve isn't feeling that great right now. And he's raising his own attack. Great. Okay, this is going to be very, very difficult. Oh, oh, oh. No, Elvis. You got taken out in one go. Okay, this is going to be a very tough fight. Please don't let this Litleo just run through my whole party. Please hit. Please see. He's losing Lear. Okay, that's perfect. Steve's defense has gone down. So one headbutt from the Litleo. And we are done for. Okay, come on. Just use the bubble. Use the bubble. Oh, no. Steve. He avoids it. Steve, the champion. Oh, my goodness. That's help from Elvis right there. That is awesome. His speed has fallen as well. Can we get the first attack in? Steve. You're an absolute champion. Good job, buddy. He's taken down the pretty powerful Litleo and lived to tell the tale. Look at that. 222 experience as well. That was awesome. Okay, looks like we've got some long grass to go through and another trainer. I just want to test my luck with one more Pokemon encounter and see what we get. I want something good. A Fanpy. Okay, that evolves into Don Fan, and I don't think we have a ground type yet, so I am going to try my luck at this. Let's use an Ember. I don't know how good this is going to be. Okay, it's pretty good. Okay, um, let's try a attack. Let's use a quick attack because it's got less attack power. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Nice. I think we might be able to get away with one more. Or shall I just... You know what? Let's just go for it. Let's try it. Because we've got one of our Pokeballs back. Thanks to not being able to catch Leo. So let's try this. In comes Fampy. That's one. That's two. That's three. And Fampy is ours. So remember the rule? We need to use the first letter of the Pokemon's name. So we need to call him... We're going to call him Philip. I love using normal names for Pokemon for some reason. So Philip the Fampy has gone straight into our box one. Perfect. Yes. We've got some Team TDM members here as well. Right. You guys can watch me take down this Karate Kid with glasses on. <laughs> He's got himself a Machop. Okay. So we don't have any Psychic types, which is a little bit upsetting. Why is my Eevee not first in my party? Did it die? I think it dies. Oh, no. Elvis. So we're going to try and just take him down with Quince real quick. It's good that we're faster. Oh, that Ember is so powerful. So, so powerful. Let's use another one real quick. And then we should be able to finish him off with a quick attack. Oh, look at that. That must have been close. Karate Chop comes in. Got a critical hit, so that wasn't that powerful either. And a quick attack should finish this guy off. Yeah, there we go. And Quince is actually going to go up to level 16 now. And he's getting pretty powerful. Oh, he's got another Machop. Okay, should we switch? Um, we don't really have anything to switch into right now. Quince, you're going to have to take this alone. But it's all good. Quince has this covered. Two attacks to take down the Machop. That was the difference between level 15 and 16. Oh my goodness, he's got another one. A Pancham. Uh, I don't have anything that's good against this either. So I'm just going to stay in. Oh, man. Here we go. Right. Let's try ourselves some more embers and see how much damage Quince takes out of this Pancham. Please be more than half. Oh, jeez. Pancham is a beast. Arm thrust is such a good attack as well. No. 
three times. Oh, Quince, I fear for your safety, but you're gonna have to go in with a big old ember, please. Oh, a massive ember. How did that happen without a critical hit? That was insane. Right, quick attack. Take him out and we can move on. Hopefully he doesn't have any more Pokemon. Yeah, there we go. By the way, if you do karate, why would you wear sunglasses? If someone cracks you in the face with a fist or a, or a foot, you're done for. That would be terrible. But that doesn't matter. We are out of here. So the only problem is we kind of need to heal our Pokemon right now. So let's head up this way. Oh, there's trainers everywhere. Oh, is that another town down there? Okay, if we can make it past this guy, we should be good. So let's rearrange our Pokemon real quick. Oh, no. Timmy, you're going to have to go first. Use your metronome to your full advantage. You could do this, buddy. I believe in you. Bug catcher, Alan. What have you got, buddy? A Butterfree. That's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty awesome. So hopefully, Timmy can bust out a lightning move right now. So here we go. The luck is in your hands. Oh, you stun spore. That's so annoying. So annoying. Timmy's paralyzed as well. He can't unleash his most powerful metronome ever. Oh, he's going to poison me as well? You can't do that. I can't be poisoned and paralyzed. Use ancient power. That is such a good attack. Timmy, you're a legend. <laughs> yes, Timmy, use your metronome. He's going to use reflect type. He's, he's become a grass type. Timmy wants to be a butterfree, but you know what? That's not good enough. Come on. One more. One more powerful attack and you can do this. He's paralyzed again. Yes. Yes, Timmy, come on. He's using spider web. <laughs> it can no longer run away. He couldn't run away anyway, Timmy. This is a trainer battle. Come on. <laughs> you can do this. Oh, no, he's confused as well. Did you see the ducks? Oh, Timmy. Oh, Timmy, no, don't hurt yourself. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. I think Timmy's going to go down by punching himself in the face. Oh, he's used stun sport. Okay, you have a chance, Timmy. You can do this. He snapped out of confusion. He's using metronome. He's going to use uppercut. Take it out. Oh, no. That was it. That was so much hype for not much damage. Oh, ho, ho. that was your chance, Timmy. You can do this. Another metronome. And he's going to use infestation. That's a disgusting sounding attack. He's been afflicted with an infestation. I haven't even heard of that attack before. It sounds like Timmy's given Butterfree a little bit of an infection. Which sounds a little bit horrible. Timmy's using metronome again, though. I have no idea. Shift gear. His attack has risen. And his speed has sharply risen as well. <laughs> the Butterfree might actually die through Timmy. Even though Butterfree has confusion as an attack. Is he going to use it? Oh, no. Timmy's over. He's dead. Timmy, you did good. Your metronome tricks were beautiful. Now, this is a chance for someone to gain some experience. Unfortunately, Elvis isn't ready to go. Maybe Nidoran. Now, um, Nidoran isn't actually nicknamed because I forgot what I named her. So I'll look back on the footage and rename her for the next episode. What can we use? Scratch? Let's see if this works. He's going to use Stun Spore. That's fine. As long as he's not using a damaging attack, we might be able to live. Because he's going to get infested any moment now. Or is the infestation gone? Oh, it might have gone because Timmy left. Come on. Come on. Yes! Nidoran, you're the best. You're actually the best. 519 experience points. How many levels are you going to grow? That's one. That is two. Up to level seven. Oh, you've, you, you've learned Tail Whip as well. Up to level eight. Oh, this is so good. All thanks to Timmy. Up to level nine. This is crazy. You learned Double Kick as well. Level 10. Timmy, you're a legend. Oh, no. We have another Pokemon to fight. Okay, Beedrill. Um, oh, no. Okay, C Quince, try this. You need to be quicker than the Beedrill. I know Beedrill is a very, very quick Pokemon, so we might be in some trouble here. It's a level 14 as well. Right. Cross our fingers, guys. Quince uses Ember. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's a decent chunk of damage. Please survive. Please survive. No, Quince. Oh, no. Our only hope is um, Barry, Nidoran, who's paralyzed, and Steve, who's almost dead and pretty hyper on Swordsbuck coffee. So um, let's see what we can do here, shall we? Let's use Cut, our brand new move. It's literally going to do like zero damage. He's 10 levels ahead of us, and we're not doing very well. Okay, that did more than I thought it would. Let's use Cut. Come on. Come on, Barry. Oh, no. 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 One critical hit. Barry was so close. He managed to avoid so many attacks before going down. I'm going to send in Steve because I think he should be able to do this. Come on, Steve. Don't fail me now. Tackle. Tackle. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Yes. Come on. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Yes. 
Steve, you legend. Hopefully he doesn't have another Pokemon. Steve is going to go up to level 14, which is awesome. He's going to go up to level 15. We might have another evolution here. Looks like you had the upper hand. Well, I'm not sure about that. I think I was just a little bit lucky. I received 300 pounds and oh, I didn't evolve. Okay. Let's get out of here. We've got quite the fan club here now. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, I thought this was a... Oh, no. I thought we had a Pokemon Center coming up. Oh, no. Is that a graveyard? I think that might be a graveyard. Right, I need to go back to the Pokemon Center, and then we'll head back. Oh, no. We made it. We made it back to the Pokemon Center. We're all healed up and ready to go back. Now, I can either go underneath, which I think led to a brand new section of the map, or we could go over the top, and I think there might have been some weird graveyard thing there. I don't know which one to choose. I'm kind of edging towards graveyards because it's a little bit spooky. Okay, so up this way is the graveyard looking thing. Look at that. Can you see it in the distance? It actually looks like graves. I'm not 100% sure. You know what? I'm going this way. It's way too intriguing, but we are going to take this guy. Yeah, look. I was just visiting my ancestors' graves. That's so weird. He's got himself a Cubone. Okay, I am going to take that down with Steve the Squirtle. Let's do this, buddy. Here we go. One more bubble, and that takes out the Cubone. Have you got anything else? Oh, I've just realized he's got Cubone. Cubone is a very mysterious Pokemon, especially around graveyards, because apparently Cubone is actually wearing the skull of its dead mother, I think. And it, it's, it's pretty deep and pretty weird. Um, it looks like Elvis wants to relearn baby doll eyes. And we are going to do that instead of Growl. And hopefully that's this guy's last Pokemon. He might have a Marowak though. He might surprise us. He's got a Marowak. Okay, um, let's switch into... Oh, I don't even know. Let's switch into Elvis and see if Elvis can gain some levels here. Oh, 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 oh no, Elvis. Elvis, no. Okay, right. We're going to go into... I'm going to go into Steve because Marrow's currently using Rollout. And that is a pretty powerful attack when it gets onto the third, fourth, and fifth consecutive attack. Which I think he's almost on. So let's use some tackles and get this guy out of here before he does way too much damage. How much is this going to do? Oh, man. That did so much. So much damage. Right. Take him out. Take him out. No, he's going to use another rollout. He's literally rolling all over my Pokemon. Nidoran, I have faith in you. Let's do this. I'm a bit worried that he might be on his sixth rollout now. Let's just use Scratch. Come on. Come on. Okay, he's using Bubble. Okay, that's fine. If he was using another rollout, we'd have been in massive trouble. We would have one squished Nidoran on our hands. Let's try Double Kick out, actually, after he uses Bubble. Double Kick. Boom. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Two kicks to the head, and Meryl has fainted. Yes! Oh, no, he's got another Cubone. Um, we don't have Steve. Um, um, I'm going to stick with Nidoran for now and see if this works. I knew he'd have another Cubone. Okay, I'm actually in big trouble here. He has a super effective attack against me. Um, I am quicker, which is good. Okay, he's using Leer. We might have just dodged a bullet. Here we go. That Meryl completely rolled over all of our team. Please don't have another Pokemon. Please. I want to go and visit these weird human or Pokemon graves. I'm not too sure. There we go. Woo. Let's go, guys. Let's go over to the graves. The old graveyard. Okay. This is um, this is a little bit spooky. Can we go in this? Oh, no. Okay. Wait. There's Cubones. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I kind of want to get a Ghastly here. I wonder if we can. I don't want to catch a Cubone right now. I want to see if I can find a Ghastly. And I also want to go in this house. Okay, I can't go in this house. Are there any weird, like, items around or anything? I need to catch some cool Pokemon here. There's got to be cool Pokemon in a graveyard, surely. Yes, a Ghastly. Okay, Gengar is one of my favorite Pokemon, so we need to catch this guy. Timmy is definitely the wrong Pokemon to do this. We need... We need Quince up in here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to attack it. Not without killing it, because Quince is double the levels of Ghastly, and I don't want to do that. Here we go. Um, let's, let's just try an Ember, because normal moves don't affect Ghost Pokemon. Oh, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Yes. Perfect. Um, I'm going to use a normal Pokeball on this and see if this works. Come on. Let's get Ghastly. I've got a name in mind for her. Come on. Yes, that's going to be it. Yes, Ghastly was cool. Perfect. The only problem is we need to trade to be able to evolve our Haunter, which is annoying. Right. We are going to call this Glenda. Glenda the Ghastly. Eventually, Glenda the Gengar. We did it, guys. We gained an awesome Pokemon. Ah, oh, I'm so glad. I'm so, so glad. Right. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't even spot you there. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Oh no, okay. Um, I don't have many good Pokemon. You have a Goth Eater. Okay, they can be pretty powerful. Um, I'm gonna switch into... You know what? I'm just gonna see if Timmy can bust out the metronomes. Come on. Come on, Timmy. Don't let me down. Drill Run. Okay, I thought that was going to be a better attack. Timmy's not doing too bad, but his metronomes are flopping a little bit. And he's getting slapped over and over again by this Gothita, which is a little bit... What are you doing? Oh, you're doing weird attacks. This is not good. Your attack stat is terrible as well. And you keep getting slapped. You're going to get slapped to death. Oh, man, you're lucky that was only two times. This might be the end for Timmy. No, he avoids the slap and replies with Water Pulse. Not too bad. Only a little bit to go. <laughs> Oh, no. Seismic toss. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine a Togepi using seismic toss on another Pokemon? That would be amazing. We've got a Gothita coming in, and I'm going to switch this time because I didn't want to switch into Quince while he was going to take an attack because he's down to about half his health already. But now this should be a lot easier, and we need to look out for trainers because we don't want to lose all of our Pokemon and white out. Yes, we've got the burn too. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Gothita goes down. Please don't have another Pokemon. Or if you do, oh, my goodness. A Cubone. A Cubone. Oh, Steve, I really miss you right now. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this because Cubone has a very powerful attack against me. Just please knock it out quickly. Oh, that was close. He's going to use Headbutt and yes, he's going to survive. I think we've got this. I should have used Quick Attack, but I think we're going to be fine. Woo. Okay, this game is actually really, really difficult. She just walked through a gravestone. It's very, very strange that we are battling in a graveyard right now. Very strange indeed, but we made it out. At least it's daytime. If it was nighttime, that'd be pretty scary. We can't make it into here. Oh, this place is creepy. Oh, it's a gothiter. You know what, Timmy? Just run away. You don't want to take down another one of these. You failed last time, so just run away. Run, run as fast as your little legs can take you. Let's go. <laughs> yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon please. Thank you. Right, just before I end out this video, we need to go and check what's in our PC, because I can't remember what we caught today. I know we had the Ghastly, and I think we have a Fampy as well. Let's quickly check, So I want to put Ghastly in my party anyway. Yes, we got the Fampy, and we got the Ghastly, so I'm going to switch out. Who don't I want? I kind of don't want the female Nidoran, so... I'm going to go with Ghastly, or better known as Glenda, and then we're going to save the game. Definitely. <laughs> there you go, guys. That ends another episode of Pokemon Brick Bronze in Roblox. I find this game so much fun. I hope you do, too. I hope you don't mind the longer videos as well, because there's a lot to get through in this game, and hopefully in the next episode, we'll be able to claim our second gym badge today. We fought Pokemon and caught Pokemon in a graveyard, which is pretty spooky, but also kind of awesome too, because I picked up one of my favorite Pokemon, which is awesome. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do a big fat like. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDN today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Box one. Perfect. Yes. We've got some Team TDM members here as well. Right. You guys can watch me take down this karate kid with glasses on. <laughs> He's got himself a Machop. Okay. So we don't have any psychic tights, which is a little bit upsetting. Why is my Eevee not first in my party? Did it die? I think it died. Oh, no. Elvis. So we're going to try and just take him down with Quince real quick. It's good that we're faster. Oh, that Ember is so powerful. So, so powerful. Let's use another one real quick. And then we should be able to finish him off with a quick attack. Oh, look at that. That must have been close. Karate Chop comes in. Got a critical hit, so that wasn't that powerful either. And a quick attack should finish this guy off. Yeah, there we go. And Quint is actually going to go up to level 16 now. And he's getting pretty powerful. Oh, he's got another Machop. Okay, should we switch? Um, we don't really have anything to switch into right now. Quint, you're going to have to take this alone. But it's all good. Quint has this covered. Two attacks to take down the Machop. That was the difference between level 15 and 16. Oh my goodness, he's got another one, a Pancham. Uh, I don't have anything that's good against this either, so I'm just gonna stay in. Oh man, here we go. Right, let's try ourselves some more Embers and see how much damage Quince takes out of this Pancham. Please be more than half. Oh, jeez, Pancham is a beast. Arm Thrust is such a good attack as well, no! Three times. Oh, Quince, I fear for your safety, but you're going to have to go in with a big old ember, please. Oh, a massive ember. 
How did that happen without a critical hit? That was insane. Right, quick attack. Take him out and we can move on. Hopefully he doesn't have any more Pokemon. Yeah, there we go. By the way, if you do karate, why would you wear sunglasses? If someone cracks you in the face with a fist or a, or a foot, you're done for. That would be terrible. But that doesn't matter. We are out of here. So the only problem is we kind of need to heal our Pokemon right now. So let's head up this way. Oh, there's trainers everywhere. Oh, is that another town down there? Okay, if we can make it past this guy, we should be good. So let's rearrange our Pokemon real quick. Oh, no. Timmy, you're going to have to go first. Use your metronome to your full advantage. You can do this, buddy. I believe in you. Bug catcher, Alan. What have you got, buddy? A Butterfree. That's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty awesome. So hopefully, Timmy can bust out a lightning move right now. So here we go. The luck is in your hands. Oh, you stun spore. That's so annoying. So annoying. Timmy's paralyzed as well. He can't unleash his most powerful metronome ever. Oh, he's going to poison me as well? You can't do that. I can't be poisoned and paralyzed. Use ancient power. That is such a good attack. Timmy, you're a legend. <laughs> yes, Timmy, use your metronome. He's going to use reflect type. He's, he's become a grass type. Timmy wants to be a butterfree, but you know what? That's not good enough. Come on. One more. One more powerful attack and you can do this. He's paralyzed again. Yes. Yes, Timmy, come on. He's using spider web. <laughs> it can no longer run away. He couldn't run away anyway, Timmy. This is a trainer battle. Come on. <laughs> you can do this. Oh, no, he's confused as well. Did you see the ducks? Oh, Timmy. Oh, Timmy, no, don't hurt yourself. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. I think Timmy's going to go down by punching himself in the face. Oh, he's used stun sport. Okay, you have a chance, Timmy. You can do this. He snapped out of confusion. He's using metronome. He's going to use uppercut. Take it out. Oh, no. That was it. That was so much hype for not much damage. Oh, 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 that was your chance, Timmy. You can do this. Another metronome. And he's going to use infestation. That's a disgusting sounding attack. He's been afflicted with an infestation. I haven't even heard of that attack before. It sounds like Timmy's given Butterfree a little bit of an infection. Which sounds a little bit horrible. Timmy's using metronome again, though. I have no idea. Shift gear. His attack has risen. And his speed has sharply risen as well. <laughs> the Butterfree might actually die through Timmy. Even though Butterfree has confusion as an attack. Is he going to use it? Oh, no. Timmy's over. He's dead. Timmy, you did good. Your metronome tricks were beautiful. Now, this is a chance for someone to gain some experience. Unfortunately, Elvis isn't ready to go. Maybe Nidoran. Now, um, Nidoran isn't actually nicknamed because I forgot what I named her. So I'll look back on the footage and rename her for the next episode. What can we use? Scratch? Let's see if this works. He's going to use Stun Spore. That's fine. As long as he's not using a damaging attack, we might be able to live. Because he's going to get infested any moment now. Or is the infestation gone? Oh, it might have gone because Timmy left. Come on. Come on. Yes! Nidoran, you're the best. You're actually the best. 519 experience points. How many levels are you going to grow? That's one. That is two. Up to level seven. Oh, you've, you, you've learned Tail Whip as well. Up to level eight. Oh, this is so good. All thanks to Timmy. Up to level nine. This is crazy. You learned Double Kick as well. Level 10. Timmy, you're a legend. Oh, no. We have another Pokemon to fight. Okay, Beedrill. Um, oh, no. Okay, Qu Quince. Try this. You need to be quicker than the Beedrill. I know Beedrill is a very, very quick Pokemon, so we might be in some trouble here. It's a level 14 as well. Right. Cross our fingers, guys. Quince uses Ember. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's a decent chunk of damage. Please survive. Please survive. No, Quince. Oh, no. Our only hope is um, Barry, Nidoran, who's paralyzed, and Steve, who's almost dead and pretty hyper on Swordsbuck coffee. So, um... Let's see what we can do here, shall we? Let's use Cut, our brand new move. It's literally going to do, like, zero damage. He's 10 levels ahead of us, and we're not doing very well. Okay, that did more than I thought it would. Let's use Cut. Come on. Come on, Barry. Oh, no. 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 One critical hit. Barry was so close. He managed to avoid so many attacks before going down. I'm going to send in Steve, because I think he should be able to do this. Come on, Steve. Don't fail me now. Tackle. Tackle. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Yes. Come on. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Yes. 
Steve, you legend. Hopefully, he doesn't have another Pokemon. Steve is going to go up to level 14, which is awesome. He's going to go up to level 15. We might have another evolution here. Looks like you had the upper hand. Well, I'm not sure about that. I think I was just a little bit lucky. I received 300 pounds, and oh, I didn't evolve. Okay, let's go.